Number 85. Solve these problems about lumber dimensions. Okay, and I see A and B, so I think I have enough room here. I'll put A over here, and maybe I'll put B over here. Okay, so A. To describe to a European how houses are constructed in the U.S., the dimensions of 2x4 lumber must be converted into metric units. The thickness times width times length dimensions are 1.5 inches times 3.5 inches times 8.00 feet in the U.S., what are these dimensions in centimeter times centimeter times meter? Okay, so it looks like it's just a simple conversion for three of them, right? They want centimeter by centimeter by meter, so this first inch has to be converted to centimeter, this second inch has to be converted to centimeter, and, oops, and this feet has to be converted into meter. So, let's do the first one. 1.50 inches into centimeters. Do we know a direct conversion between inches and centimeters? Well, we look in the length and we have one inch equals 2.54 centimeters exactly. So I'm going to use this conversion to solve the first conversion. So 1.50 inches times by a ratio, inches goes on the bottom, centimeters goes up on top, and we use those numbers, so one inch, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. The inches cancel, and we're left with centimeters. So 1.50 times 2.54, I get 3.81 perfect sig figs, so we don't have to do anything about that. Okay, so the first part would be 3.81 centimeter by... The next part, the next part is 3.50 inches, and we got to convert it into centimeters. We know that direct conversion, so let's get to it. 3.50 inches times by a ratio, inches goes on the bottom, centimeters up top, and we know that 2.54 centimeters equals one inch. It's the same conversion as before, inches cancel. We do the math, 3.5 times 2.54, you get 8.89, perfect sig figs as well. No worries about that. So that's the next part. So it's 3.81 centimeters by 8.89 centimeters by, now I'm just going to um, erase this here just so that I have a little bit of room. But the next one, we just gotta convert the feet into meters. So let me write that down. We got 8.00 feet and we have to convert to meters. Now let's see. If I'm looking at the length, I don't see any conversion with feet in it, mainly because you gotta memorize that conversion. You gotta remember how many feet are in a yard. There's three feet per one yard. That's gonna help you out. So if you know that conversion, you can go from feet to yard and then you can go from yard to meter because of this conversion right here. One meter equals 1.0936 yards. So let's try it out. 8.00 feet times by the ratio. Feet on the bottom. We need to go to yards first. That's the one that we need to memorize. One yard equals three feet. Feet cancel out. And we're moving on. Now, guys, I'm going a little quickly, but we're at number 85. So if, you, if this is the first one, go back. I go much more slower, like 20 questions back. There's so many conversions. So I just want to make sure that you guys are all comfortable with the speed that I'm going. But we're moving on. <laughs> Yards on the bottom here because we need to cancel. And meters up top. And according to this conversion... One meter, so I got to put the one by the one meter, is equal to 1.0936 yards. The yards cancel out, and you're left with meter. So, you just got to do the math. So it would be 8.00 divided by 3 times 1.0936, which is 3.228. Ooh, that's an ugly... Ugly eight two eight zero eight. So when I do that, I get if we need three sig figs, it's going to be two point four 
four meters. So that is the answer to the first part. I'm just going to box all these off. So this one was the answer to the first one. This one was, was the answer to the second one. And this one, 2.44 meters, is the next one. So it's 3.81 centimeters by 8.89 centimeters by 2.44 meters. Okay, that gets rid of A. B. This lumber can be used as vertical studs, which are typically placed 16.0 inches apart. What is that distance in centimeters? So, same thing again. It looks like we need to convert inches into centimeter, which is cm. We know a direct conversion for that. It's right here. We've used it two times already, right? So, let's go for it. 16.0 inches. You don't want inches anymore. That goes on the bottom. You want centimeters. And according to this conversion, one inch on the bottom and 2.54 centimeters up top. Inches cancel out. We are left with centimeters. There are three sig figs here. That zero counts because there's a decimal. 16 times 2.54. So we get 40.64, but we need three sig figs. So... Um, four, zero, and six. The four does not round the six up, so it would just be 40.6 centimeters. Box that answer off. That's the answer to part two, 40.6 centimeters. That's it, guys. So this one is the answer to part B. Check this one off. And this whole thing was the answer to part A. So there you go, guys. Awesome job, guys. Hope this helped a lot. If it did, give this video a like just to make sure that we know what we are doing. I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. And if you want to know when our next batch of questions are coming out, click that subscribe button. But anyway, I'll see you guys in number 86 and 87 and 88. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.